Good day, good day, royal fans. Today's headline. Did Prince Harry lie about being cut off financially by his father, Prince Charles? That's the report in one outlet. British government catches Prince Harry in a pathetic lie. This week's edition of The Globe reports Prince Harry may not have been telling the truth when he claimed to have been financially cut off by his father, Prince Charles. According to the tabloid's inside sources, an audit of Clarence House has shown that Prince Charles allocated $6.25 million to his sons last year, and a substantial sum of that total reportedly went to Harry. The tabloid explains that this revelation discredits Harry and wife Meghan Markle's claims that they were forced to live off Harry's inheritance from his late mother when they arrived in the United States. The tabloid notes that Charles was still was still supporting his youngest son financially throughout his move to California, despite the couple repeatedly insisting they were working towards becoming financially independent. But in the time since, the Sussexes have inked deals with Netflix and Spotify with close to $100 million and are reportedly projected to earn more than $850 million in the next decade. The outlet criticizes the couple for suggesting they were forced to provide for themselves and points to their previously disputed claims that they had a secret wedding ceremony days before being married at Windsor Castle. The report wraps up, noting Prince Charles was deeply upset by the couple's comments since he was sincerely aiding them financially. An insider explains initially he didn't cut them off and he went on to provide for some time, adding, but there was a point when Charles decided enough is enough. The bank of dad couldn't keep handing out indefinitely. Prince Harry bites the hand that fed him. A spokesperson for the Sussexes explained the Duke's comments during the Oprah interview were in reference to the first quarter of the fiscal reporting period in the UK, which starts annually in April. This is the same date that the transitional year of the Sandringham Agreement began and is aligned with the timeline that Clarence House referenced. What's more, the tabloid alleged Harry and Markle were begging the Queen to take them back. Then the magazine claims Harry and Markle were becoming cannabis farmers. And more recently, the tabloid claimed the firm had all kinds of dirt on the Sussexes after tapping their phones. What do you believe? My goodness, so much clickbait out there. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy today's content. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more royal news. See you tomorrow and goodbye for now.